Hi everybody! Today I will give you the tools you will need to eliminate about 99% of all the tuning issues you will ever have with your guitars. This little tutorial is meant for beginners, advanced and professional players. I will divide the tutorial in three parts. The first part is going to tell you everything you need to know how to set up the guitar that you can perfectly tune it. The second part of the tutorial will deal with the best methods how to tune the guitar by ear. This is especially interesting for acoustic players. The third part of the tutorial will deal with guitar tuners. I will show you different brands and different kinds of guitar tuners and how and why I use those. Enjoy! First thing is, always remember, the guitar strings have to be fresh. Dirty old guitar strings are hard or impossible to tune. The second thing we need to understand, the intonation of the guitar has to be set up right. You can easily check the intonation of the guitar with a guitar tuner. If the open string is perfectly in tune and the fretted note at the 12th fret is slightly sharp, which means too high, or is slightly flat, which means too low, then the intonation has to be adjusted. I will show how to adjust the intonation of a guitar bridge in an extra tutorial coming up in the next days. The third typical problem to bring a guitar in tune is usually caused by the saddle when the saddle is either too high or the saddle groves are not filed low enough. You recognize this problem when a string which is perfectly in tune and you fret it at the 5th at the 7th or at the 12th fret is still in tune, but when you fret it at the 1st or 2nd fret it is slightly sharp. So this is not a sign that the guitar is not perfectly in tune, this is a sign that the guitar is not perfectly set up. This problem should be fixed by a guitar tech, somebody who knows what he is doing. One more thing guys, please make sure when you start fretting notes on the guitar that you do not press the string harder than you have to, or even worse, that you bend the strings slightly. A lot of beginners make this big mistake that they press on the strings harder than they have to, and they constantly produce out of tune sounds, even if the guitar is perfectly in tune. Another reason why a lot of people struggle with tuning their instruments is directly related to our Western Standard tuning system. We need to understand that our tuning system is not an absolute perfect system, but it is a compromise. And here is why. Let's have a look at our Western Standard 12-tone equal temperament tuning. Our Western 12-tone equal temperament tuning system is set up in a way that we create the intervals to a certain note by taking the octave and dividing the octave in 12 equal parts. If we now compare the physically correct intervals, which we would find on the guitar by just playing the overtone series on a string with our equally divided octave, we can easily see here on this chart that the octave, the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth are so close to the physically correct interval that they would not cause any audible trouble. The minor second, the second and the major seventh are still in a range which might cause a little bit of coloration in the tone, but our ears got used to it over the years so we do not identify them as wrong. The big problems arise with the minor and the major third, the minor and major sixth and the minor seventh. One might question why don't we go with the physically correct intervals in the first place. If we would create an instrument where we would find always the perfect physical intervals to a certain note, we would come up with a piano which would not have 12 keys in an octave but 144. Of course this would be an unplayable instrument. That's why our 12 tone equal temperament became the standard western tuning system. Buzz Featon found a way by shifting the saddle of the guitar just a very little bit towards the bridge to ease out the little problems we get by ear with our western standard tuning system 
and it works pretty well. Here is the first method. This is probably the method everybody shows you when you pick up a guitar for the very first time. You tune the A string with the help of another instrument or with the help of a tuning fork. Once you've tuned the A string, you fret it in the fifth fret and you receive a fourth up, which is the note D. That's why this note should be the same like the open D string. Once you've tuned the D string to the A string, you continue. You fret the D string in the fifth position and you create the note G, a fourth above the D. Once you've tuned the G string, you have to fret the G string in the fourth fret because the interval between the G and the B natural is only a major third. So you fret the G string in the fourth position and you receive a B natural. When you're done, you finally fret the B string in the fifth position again and you create an E which should be the very same note like the open high E string. In order to tune the low E string you fret the low E string in the fifth position and you create an A. finish tuning the guitar this way, we think the guitar should be perfectly in tune. But this is wrong. Unfortunately, we have started to create a little mistake when we tune the D string. This mistake is not very audible, so we don't have to worry about it. As soon as we tune the G string, we double the mistake. In the moment we tune the B string, we not only triple the mistake, but we add another big portion because in the equal temperament tuning, the third is way off from the physical third. When we then tune the high E string and regard to the B string, we will add another little mistake. So in that moment, the high E string is way far apart from what it should be and it does not sound in tune with the A string anymore.